Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to your tarot messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what is it that you need to know at this particular point in time. So this is going to be a reading for those of you that are going to resonate with it the most. If you find this is not your reading, that's okay. Don't try and force fit it. Just let it flow. Um, perhaps you might be interested in a personal reading. Feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video. So, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and let's begin with the messages. Make sure it's in frame. Bear with me. Cards are flying out. At the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. To the person that I'm connecting with, to the person that I am speaking with, this is a little heavy, okay, but he goes, You can't see the cycle that you're in or the cycle that you've been stuck in for quite some time. And you can't see it because it's been such a normal part of your life for so long or a normal part of your relationship or it's been so ingrained in your identity. One way or another, this cycle... It exists in your life. It might even exist in the family, the family that you grew up in. The thing is, this cycle has not been broken. This cycle has been going on for so long. And again, the reason why you haven't been able to see that you're stuck in the cycle, the reason why you haven't been able to see that is because it's been such... A part of you and it's become the norm for you for so long this feels like a curse or it feels like a generational cycle or a generational curse it could be something that you have like inherited from a parent and it's something that I feel like has been going on in your family for for a very long time and it's been generational it's been passed down this curse or this cycle has been passed down from generation to generation no one has been able to see it as a cycle. No one has been able to see that this has been happening on repeat, like it's been looping around. And no one has, up until now, no one has cared enough to do the work, okay? Um, it's been around in your family for so long that it's not easy to break out of it. If you feel stuck, 
if you feel like you're moving but you're not actually not getting anywhere or if you feel like this if you just feel like you've been this way for quite some time like I feel like you recognize it but you don't know how to get out of it what you have to do is because this is cyclical and because this has been a part of you for who knows for so long what you have to do to get out of this to break this curse to break the cycle is to step out of it is to do the total opposite of what you've been doing your whole life if you do not if you do not interrupt this pattern if you do not break this curse break this cyclical behavior you'll subconsciously keep doing the same thing without even intentionally realizing it i told you this was going to be heavy um so to the one that i'm connecting to to the one that is recognizing that is to the one that is recognizing this generational curse this generational cycle to the one that is wanting to break it okay to the one that's wanting to work on yourself and wanting to break this cycle wanting to interrupt this pattern unfortunately you this behavior that you're dealing with this behavior has been passed down for some it could be like uh alcohol drinking or drug abuse it runs in the family line and in order to break that cycle in your own life or in your own family you have to avoid that particular substance at all measures at all costs the only way you're going to interrupt this pattern the only way that you're going to break this curse i feel like that has been thrusted upon your family is if you change your mindset is if you renew your mindset because there's someone here like this behavior has been passed on and has been carried on for so long and you've continued to do it in that way in your life as well for so long it's a cycle that has not been broken it's a cycle that may not necessarily have been realized someone that's listening to this might not even believe in generational curses or cycles they may not even believe such a thing runs in their family um they may think that you know it, it's it's a rumor it's all just a bunch of pokem pokem there's this sort of bondage that is affecting you there is something that is keeping you stuck there is something that's keeping you trapped okay that's what that is it's keeping you stuck it's keeping you trapped it's keeping you in this prison it's keeping you in fear and it stems all the way back to this learned behavior this behavior that has been passed down or this mindset whatever this is and it's reoccurring cycles it's cyclical behavior it's recurring cycles that stem from maybe your parents or your parent your parents parents and they've never been broken they've never been broken um they're tied to the choices you make just because you have been born into this situation or because you have been born into this um curse it doesn't mean that like you can choose to be different it doesn't mean that you because you have been born into it you can succumb to it or you have to succumb to it 
this has been passed down honestly it feels like it's been passed down from whether it's immediate family or family way way down the line you don't have to succumb to this you don't to the person that I'm connecting to you are I feel like you are the person who's starting to realize that it is your mission that it is your purpose to break these chains these bondages of generational curses that have run in your family And as I've mentioned, some of you might not necessarily believe this to be true. They don't believe that, you know, there are curses that run in the family. Um, look, these curses could have been picked up from the environment too. It's hard to say exactly how far it stems back or how exactly it was picked up. Um, but they are very real to the families that experience them. And to the people that I'm connecting with, okay to the people that know what i'm talking about you're able to relate to the fact that these generational cycles or curses have been very real in your family and have been re very real in your life for example anything like addiction okay addiction can it's passed down from parents or it's passed down from grandparents it manifests itself as a coping mechanism of course it can also be developed in the uh, outside environment as well but they show they show up in our lives as coping mechanisms something he has recently shown up in your life but in a different way or i feel like something that's so much a part of you like such an extension of you or you know if it's cyclical behavior it's emotional behavior whatever this is it's very um it's dysfunctional and it's, it's been a very difficult pattern to spot just because again this is so much a part of you and it's just so much the norm for you but recently you have gotten to a point in your life where you're starting to recognize, you're starting to identify that this is dysfunctional, that this is um, a pattern, that this has been repeated and it's been ongoing in your life for quite some time. And I feel like you are the person, you are the person that is recognizing these, uh, these patterns and you are the person that is deciding to break and more importantly like to break those patterns to step out of those patterns to release yourself from the chains of these curses you're the person that is going to lift this curse and you're the person that is going to heal it you are going to heal whatever this curse may be for you you're going to heal it so that you no longer have to suffer that pain you no longer have to suffer the fate and also moving forward generations to come will not have to suffer the same fate as well there's something that has been manifesting in your life that that's not to say you haven't recognized it before but i don't think you've ever seen it the way you see now the way you see it now it's like you see things so clearly it's like you can identify the pattern with such clarity whereas you couldn't before and this 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 also feels like it's some sort of trauma response and it's something that you've been carrying out or it's something that's been playing out a lot in your life recently which maybe has like there's been one event after another which has been triggering you to to behave or to respond in that cyclical uh, way and I think because it's been happening so frequently for you lately 
that you've been able to see this pattern, that you've been able to identify this pattern, that it's become so clear to you, whereas before maybe it wasn't as clear. There's something to do with the childhood environment that you grew up in as well. Um, maybe there was a lot of chaos, there was a lot of fighting. Um, maybe there was like violence. There's a good chance that you have to dig, you have to go back, you have to dig deep into your family history. I feel like there's been a man and a woman who have been, who have been very much a victim of this curse. There's, there's a man and a woman who have a very strong influence, have a very profound influence on your energy. It could be your parents, your grandparents, could could extend beyond that but they've had a very profound influence on your energy and especially they've had a lot to do with this and they've been victims of this curse this isn't your fault okay this is land behavior it isn't your fault i feel like this is something that um has been learn it's learned behavior and it's something that's been handed down to you it's it's something that you may have just inherited and been born into it is exhaustive it's it's very exhaustive and it has plagued your family line for years or for a very long time Try and also find history and behavior patterns about your family, but also if you are romantically connected to someone, if you're in a relationship or a marriage with someone, try and also find out about, you know, about both sides of the family and ask about patterns or generational curses about your person's um, family as well. Because there are notice how there are circumstances don't you find it strange how there are circumstances in your life that seem to be repeating itself and you almost feel like you almost feel like your life sometimes plays out like a scene from groundhog day you keep having that same day or you keep having that same relationship even if it's with different type of people there's a pattern that's playing out here but to the person that I am speaking with you are looking at yourself honestly um, and it's challenging it can be very challenging to look at something and see it exactly for what it is rather than what you want it to see but you are looking at yourself and you're looking at your behavior or your situation with honesty and sin um, sincerity um, in the past, I think you have reacted very defensively to this, but there's something that's shifting in your energies. You're waking up, the, you're removing the blindfolds, you're removing the, the bondages that have held you a uh, prisoner, and you're facing, you're facing yourself. You're looking deep into shadow traits. You're looking deep into your own shadow traits, into your family's shadow, tra uh, tr shadow traits. Whereas before, I feel like maybe you were inclined to push them away. But now you're... Anyone who... Anyone who is hurting you or anyone who has hurt you recently, you're no longer keeping it... You're no longer sort of trying to hide it or trying to push the pain away. Instead, you're pointing it out to that person when they have hurt you. You are practicing self-care. You're, you're healing an inner child. There's an inner wound here that comes from your childhood. When you show yourself love, when you show yourself compassion, when you show yourself respect and care, 
You begin to heal, heal that inner child. You begin to heal that inner child's wound. The child inside of you still carries the weight of some generational trauma that has been passed down to you. It's not your fault. It is not your fault. Your inner child has been hurt by its environment. I feel like recently you've started a self-care journey. Um, where you're really looking out for you. See, for a long time you've been putting everyone else first, everyone else before you. But now I feel like you're really focusing, you're really focusing on yourself. And it's not, it's, it's not called being selfish, it's not, it's called self-love. This is no easy task and this isn't something that you have to do alone. But you do feel like it's your duty, you feel like it's your purpose, you feel like it's your mission. There's someone, I feel like there's someone you're connected to. It could be in your family, but someone very close to you. I feel like you're not able to go very long with this person without misunderstanding each other. I don't know if it's a family member or it feels like this person is really close to you. So it does feel like it might be a family member. Um... feels like I don't know it could be a sibling and um a parent and auntie or uncle I don't know it feels like it's someone very close to you but notice how this is someone you can't go very you can't go very long without this person without this person understand misunderstanding you or you misunderstanding them and when you'll take a look back at your history your family history you'll notice that like maybe your parents um, or their parents kept having ongoing fights or disagreements. I feel like you're going to be healing. You're going to be healing your pain with this person. You have the power. You have the power to influence generations to come. Especially by breaking this curse, especially by uh, stepping out of this curse. You're really owning it and you are really welcoming change. I feel like one of the biggest change is your mindset and how you speak to yourself. You've made mistakes in the past. But you're forgiving yourself and you're moving forward. You're going to become... A success story but in order for you to do that you have to be your you have to be your biggest fan you're changing habits my goodness some of you are changing your habits um, it's uncomfortable it's it's definitely not easy um, but you're shifting the narrative you're changing your habits you're, you're shifting the narrative because you know that your behavior your patterns aren't going to break themselves you know that these curses are not going to break themselves so you're changing that those patterns you're also changing your environment 
there's such a big shift that's taking place in your environment. In the past, you may have unknowingly, you may have surrounded yourself with toxicity, with the, to you know, with toxicity. You may have put yourself in toxic spaces. And that's because maybe you grew up, you grew up with a mindset that, you know, um, relationships, um, relationships of any kind have to be painful. Um, maybe that was the norm for you. And so you would always seek out relationships or friendships that, that would be painful on some level. Now you're leaving some people behind because you understand that not everyone can come on this journey that you're on. It feels like, it feels like, a, I'm seeing like a school bus. It feels like a school bus and you're dropping off certain people along the journey because not everyone can come. Not everyone can come on this journey. And so I feel like you're letting go. You're letting go and you're shedding your skin. There's parts of you that you're letting go as well. There's people in your life that you're letting go. This is a huge step towards overcoming this curse. This is a huge step towards the, belief, uh, the, the healing process. None of this, and I think you realize that, but none of this is going to work unless you do. So you have to keep going until you see the changes. You're rewriting your story, okay? And that means ending toxic patterns. It means breaking away from any negative associations or negative expectations that people have of you remember to be patient with this process because these patterns have take you know have taken years or generations or decades to be built and formed and shaped so be patient with the process this isn't go these patterns are not going to be broken in one day they're not going to be broken overnight or over the course of a week. So be patient with where you are and be patient with this process. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Keep shining your light. Bye for now.